What's up guys? So today we have got another package over here and no, it's it, it's not tarantulas, it's not spiders. It has something to do with the dubia roaches. So yeah, let's get this opened and I'll show you what it is. I mean, obviously it's not like I'm gonna open it and not show you what it is. The delivery was quite fast on this one. I bought it yesterday and today it arrived. Why can't tarantulas come that quickly? Look at this. Oh, what the heck? Bruh. Is that a freaking roach? Dude, what the heck? Is that a wild roach? That's not good. The moment I opened it, there was already a wild roach in here, which is not good. I don't want the die. There we go, killed it, because these things can bring parasites. I really hope there's no more in here, no more wild roaches. So yeah, as you can see, eight crates. I'm going to be changing my Dubia Roaches eight crates because the ones that are in the bin right now, they have been in there. I've been using them for a couple of years already and I'll show you how they look like after this. So there we go. I've got it opened and there, yeah, very, very clean. Nice and clean eight crates. Yeah, so I bought 20 of these because 20 is the perfect amount for that Dubia Roach bin. The Turkestan bin, I am using quail egg crate, so it's a way smaller crease. This is actually my first time buying egg crates online because there's this egg shop near my place. I went there the other day and the guy was like, yeah, I don't sell egg crates anymore. So I had to buy it online, buy them online, and I had to pay shipping, which yeah, it wasn't that cheap compared to if I buy it at the shop. So yeah, there we go. 20 egg crates. Very, very satisfied with the packaging and undamaged egg crates. But what's up with that roach as soon as I opened it? <laughs> what are the odds, right? Now, let me show you the old egg crate compared to the new egg crates. As you can see in here, I've given the roaches some watermelon and they've pretty much eaten out everything. They kind of eat the skin as well. They're all pretty much gut loaded with watermelon. Look at how fat they are. Really, really healthy. Look at the old egg crates. They are so... How can I say? Really, really soft and kind of rotting. Look at this. So yeah, I am going to be transferring these roaches into another bin and I'm going to like thoroughly clean this bin and then I will replace this egg crate inside. Look at that. Looks so much nicer. All right, so I've actually found another bin that I will be using. So I've cleaned this bin, like washed it out and scrubbed the bottom because yeah, they were kind of weird stuff at the bottom. So yeah, this bin is clean. I didn't actually remember that I had this bin. I had to go look for it. So there it is. It's going to be way easier to transfer the roaches now. And we're going to put the, the new acorns in here, get the roaches in here, shake them off in here. And whatever roaches that are in the substrate, I'll just give it to my friend because he, <laughs> he did agree that every time when I clean the roach bin, anything in the substrate, just pass it over to him. He will pick them up one by one and feed his tarantulas because yeah, that's what he <laughs> that's what he told me. So let's get this bin set up and get the roaches in. Get some paper towels to fully get it dried up because you don't want any moisture in here. If it does, then I mean if you do have moisture, it's probably gonna start to mold, which is not a good thing. I don't really know what these things are, but I think they should be fine for the roaches. Actually, maybe for the other bin, I may put my turkey stand roaches in because the Turks are currently in a smaller bin. Bin. I don't know. Let me decide on that. Yeah, after cleaning, the paper towel is still clean. So that tells you that the bin is clean. Perfect. Now I'm gonna get these egg crates and I mean, they're already stacked up. So I'll just put them in like this and uh, yeah, spread them out a little bit and I can toss the roach in. So I will lay them like this upright. I don't know if I should lay them this way or this way. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think for a change, instead of doing it this way, we will do it this way. I used to do it this way. I don't know why I changed it to that way, but I think I'm gonna be moving it, changing it, switching back to the original position. You know what? I'll put them out first so it'll be easier to maneuver inside. Really, really nice. It's been so long since I have seen such clean and solid eight crates because these ones they're kind of like 
yeah, very, very like, flimsy and just yeah, rotten. And also, if you guys noticed, I am currently just tossing the food on the ground and they come and eat it. I don't know if I should get like a dish for this one. Let me think about that. By the way, I paid about $4, I think, for all of these eight crates, including the shipping. Okay, so I've pretty much done one row. Okay, I think I can fit one more. Yep, there we go. So there's one row of Roach Hotel. Look at all the floors. The rest, I guess I can just put it over here. And I don't know, should I put the food dish on the top and the water dish on the top? Yeah, maybe I'll actually do that. That way I can fill the whole floor with eight crates and I think that'll be way better. Although I only have three left. So yeah, I'm gonna have to just slowly add them every time I buy eggs for cooking. All the eight crates I've already opened up and the hell is that? Not a single clue, but there's no roaches. So what are the odds that that one roach when I opened it was there? Weird. So there we go, 20 acres. Let me go to the kitchen and see if there's any more. Oh yes, yes, we have eight crates. Yay, I found three more and I'm not sure if it's the same size, but it's definitely not gonna fill, obviously. But it's better than nothing, yay. I've got, you know, what the heck? There's like freaking, this is what I mean, man. Egg, like, yeah, whatever, calcium for the roaches. And no, they're not the same size. These ones a little bit smaller and no. Oh, right, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, these are different. These, look at that. Yeah, I think these are the ones that are the same size. Yes, that's the same size. So apparently one, yes, that's the same size as well. This one, what the heck, man? What are you even, like seriously? What? Who makes these kind of egg crates? Like, not even the same size. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, let's get the roaches in. Maybe I can put this one like that to prevent this from falling, right? Hopefully that works. Look at that. There's my roach bin now. First egg crate. Ooh, look at them. Look at all the dubious. Guys, just, just shake off all of the poop because you never know. And then we shake them in. Enjoy guys, enjoy your new enclosure. Yeah, it's fresh and clean. Okay, so this egg crate is pretty much done. And now a lot to go. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I don't even have so many roaches anymore. Not too, not too many, but still sustainable. Over here is where all the adults are. Look at that. Look at that. So many dubia roaches. But then over here, it's way less. You see, I know where they are. And you see, after a while, they kind of eat the egg crate as well. So yes, that right there, that is the doing of the roaches. Yeah, kind of nasty. And this, oh, what the heck? What the, yo, did you guys see that on camera? I don't even know if I got it on camera, but there's a freaking beetle that came out of the egg crate. Oh, what the heck, man? Seriously? Anyways, I have no idea what beetle that is, why it's in my roach bin, but it's gone now. All right, let's go. It's getting way more. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Yo, there's another of this beetle. Like, what the heck are you? What are you, man? What are you? Why are there so many beetles in my roach bin? That's a weird looking roach. What? Dude, bruh, you're a weird looking roach, but you are a dubia, so yeah. I'm only keeping the ones that are on the eight crates. Whatever is in the ground, my friend is gonna have them, so yeah. Get off, man. Get off. Seriously. Bro, yeah, there we go. But seriously, what beetle is that? Comment down below. And for those who haven't subscribed yet and you're watching this video and you are enjoying it, subscribe. Like, hit that notification bell as well. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, yeah, I think this egg crate... Yeah, some of the egg crates are still pretty new. I don't know if I should put it in. Maybe not. That ASMR dough. Ready for more ASMR? Look at all of them. They're all crowding on this egg crate because they haven't even found these ones yet. Got to check if there are any sick roaches then we can get rid of them. Oh, my phone just told me that my battery is less than 20%. Low power mode. 
you see some of them have like poop so what i do is i tilt it like this and let the poop fall off then i'll shake the roaches because i try my best to not put the poop into the new enclosure i really hope there's no house roaches in here i swear i'll get a heart attack look at that all the oh man my friend is gonna have a lot of roaches today because <laughs> i'm too lazy to even pick those up Look at all the dirt. Ugh, I'm gonna have to wipe that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at the amount of roaches. This is insane. My favorite part of doing this. Shaking them off. Are we even halfway yet? I don't know. Oh, this is easily like 200 grams, I think. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Yo, that's not good. That's not a dubia roach exact. I hope it's not a house roach. And that will not be good. How on earth did another roach species get in here? Oh my gosh. Look at that. I really hope there's no other roach species in here. Oh, that's so satisfying. We're almost done, guys. We are Oh, I think the end one will be the most. That's going to be so satisfying. Oh, my back. Like, I am like, like, bending down like this. Oh, my back hurts so bad. Oh boy, look at that. I thought I don't have too many dubia roaches, but turns out that's not the case. I have a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so, oh, whoa. They flew up like five feet in the air. One, two, three, four. Four more guys, four more. Oh my gosh look at that look at that thank goodness they're dubious can you imagine if they're house roaches i wouldn't even be here i'll be in the grave look at that yo i cannot wait to lift this up it's so heavy i'm gonna do that once all those three are done come on guys crawl onto the egg crates onto the egg crates so, oh gosh, oh gosh, my friend's gonna have a lot of roaches to separate. <laughs> oh man, look at all the eight crates. Oh, there's a freaking another beetle. Like, where are these guys? Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. Where are these guys coming from and what are they even not looking for? Oh no, no, please don't. Please don't go in. Oh, I don't know what these beetles are. Where the hell are these beetles coming from? Oh my god, oh, there's a... There's a lot of them. There's a lot of these stupid beetles. Like, where do they come from? What are they even? I don't know. But I'm still going to be just... Look at this egg crate. It's like breaking apart. And also, these beetles musk. They smell quite bad. What are they? I don't think they're dung beetles. Okay, here's the last egg crate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see who is under here. <gasps> Holy moly. That is insane. That's crazy, man. That is insane. Oh my gosh. And the problem is, you see, it's all wet. It's because I fed them watermelon. And now they're all like, yeah. They're wetting the egg crate. So I think I'll just leave them as it is now. Because... That's not gonna be good. So yeah, look at the amount of adult roaches are in here. I think I'm going to put as many as I can in here because the adults are what I feed my tarantulas. So yeah, I'll just grab whatever I can and the rest, my friend can have them. Look at that, oh my gosh. So there it is guys, my new Dubia Roach bin. Whatever's in there is going to my friend, so I'll let him deal with that. And well, basically that is my new Roach bin and I will be adding the water dish and the food dish as well. I'm still debating whether or not I should just pour the food in, not too sure. But yep, that is it. As for now, I'm gonna have to wipe that and it's all good to go. So guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you thumbs thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Um, Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And yeah, yada, yada, yada. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Peace.